Welcome to Ties TV Season 3. The episode will begin in just a moment. Remember to hit the share button and host a watch party. Representatives will be available to answer any of your questions in the comments below. Like and follow the International Surface event on your favorite social media platforms to get updates on future episodes. Well, without further delay, let's get the show started. Tice TV Season 3 is brought to you by the World Floor Covering Association, the floor covering industry's largest advocacy organization, representing specialty floor covering retailers, manufacturers, and distributors. Visit them today at www.wfca.org. Also brought to you by Premier Flooring Retailer Magazine, the only publication dedicated exclusively to the success of the specialty retailer and their supplier partners. Visit them today at www.pfrmag.net as well as Fabulous Floors Magazine, connecting the flooring industry to consumers. Visit them today at www.fabulousfloorsmagazine.com Now let's get the show started. I4F Drop Lock Technologies How to Install and Disassemble Vinyl Planks In this film, you'll learn about I4F's one-piece drop lock technology. Tools you will need Preparation Installation Disassembling I4F provides the world's easiest and best flooring installation systems. I4F's one-piece drop lock technology eliminates the need for an insert on the short side. 3L Triple Lock is the original one-piece drop lock system for the short side. Click for You is an angle system for the long side, combined with 3L Triple Lock on the short side. Both technologies ensure the easiest locking system on the market and are also very easy to disassemble. Installation with I4F's unique one-piece drop lock systems is fast and easy. Speed up installation by up to 30% compared to other click systems. Works with all materials and formats. You don't need inserts or any special tools. It is extremely strong. The technology is available on all materials and formats, including normal planks, mix and match patterns, herringbone, four sided tiles, and chevron flooring. Tools you will need. The only tools you need are spacers, these add space between the borders of the planks and the wall, a pencil, a tape measure to ensure the last plank of a row is the right length, a level, a cutter knife, and a hard PVC mallet to tap and firmly lock the planks so that the floor is completely even. If your floor panels do not have pre-attached underlay, then you will first need to install an underlay. An underlay is essential for improved acoustics and also helps achieve a perfectly even floor. Preparation First, remove any plinths before starting to lay the floor. Whether you reuse existing plinths or add new ones, only place them after the floor installation is completed. To make sure you have enough flooring panels to cover your room, calculate the surface area and add 
Acclimatize your floor panels for 48 hours prior to installation at a room temperature between 18 to 25 degrees centigrade, that is 64 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Subfloor. Make sure your floor surface is clean and even. Check for any peaks or depressions in your subfloor, and if they exist, fill them up with cement paste. Remove any last obstructions such as glue, nails, or screws, etc. And before starting, check the flooring panels for any damages. Now you are ready to begin installing. Installation The installation features an I4F one-piece drop lock system. You drop and lock the floor panels together. The installation process used in this film includes the use of two planks as an alignment guide. So, let's begin. First, use a full-length plank and place it against the wall. No need for any spacers just yet. Next, take another full-length plank and angle it to plank zero. This is row number one. Continue with another full-length plank after plank one. Connect the long sides with plank zero at an angle and drop against one. Use a hard PVC mallet to lock and secure the outer corner of the short side first. Proceed with a full length plank three, angle in with plank number two. This ensures perfect alignment. Take another full length plank four. Connect the long sides with plank number three at an angle and drop with plank number two. Use a tape measure to calculate your cut. Mark the section that you need to cut with a pencil. Place your framing square along the line you want to cut. Use a cutter knife to cut halfway through your vinyl plank. Snap the excess vinyl off by bending the plank over your knee. We'll be right back after this quick commercial break. No design project is ever decided by one person. Which is why shareable contact information is so important. Join in Crowd Digital Business Cards makes it easy for your clients to share your contact info and send you referrals. Create your free card today. Upgrade for only $1 a month. You work hard. Make it easy for your clients to send you more business. Join in crowd today. Flip your board over and make a clean cut using the cutter knife. Use half a plank five and angle into plank number one. Make sure the short sides are aligned. Take a full-length plank 6, drop, and lock. To finish the second row, take plank 7, drop, and lock. Check for any gaps or height differences. Remove plank zero and plank three from row number zero by angling them out. Use spacers to create an expansion space of five millimeters, 0 0.2 inches. Complete installation before removing spacers. Gently slide rows one and two towards the spacers.
From row 3 onwards, installation does not require a specific laying pattern. Remove spacers when installation is complete. To finish the last row, measure the distance from the wall to the last installed row, minus 5 millimeters, 0.2 inches. Mark this measurement with a pencil lengthwise on the plank. Use the tongue side of the plank. Use a cutter knife to cut halfway through the plank lengthwise. Turn the plank over and put your weight on one half. Pull the plank upwards to snap into two halves. Continue with the cutter until both halves are free. Angle in the tongue side of the plank lengthwise with your last installed row. Lock the short sides by using the mallet. Finish up the room by placing plinths, molding, and trim. Now, sit back and admire your work. Disassembling. I4F's one-piece drop lock makes disassembly really easy. Lift up the entire row at an angle. Slide apart the planks on the short side. Lift the planks to disengage the floor panels. If you cannot slide the panels apart, the short side is not fully engaged. Tap with the mallet to engage, then slide out and follow the same process. All these installation steps can be downloaded from our website, i4f.com slash downloads. Easiest is best with i4f drop lock technologies. The world's easiest and best flooring installation systems. Thank you for watching another great episode of Ties TV. Tune in each week as we introduce more great products, manufacturers and solutions. Follow us on social media to set reminders for upcoming episodes. Remember to hit the share button and invite your friends, colleagues and clients. See you next week for even more episodes of Ties TV. Look mom. I made that.